the line. Dishing it out with the boys at the barbershop. At night, there's nothing like a good house party. While you'll find me up in the club. On Sundays, it's hanging with friends and family. But don't forget some alone time watching a great movie on TV. I'm Shantia. I'm Michael. And I. And I am a bouncer. Bounce. TV our way. But you having a baby, I would I would think that would come before football. Do you think Wendy's jealous? Yeah. I think you did because she's not a free load is not worth your pizza. Girl. I see her at school, she look at me all funny, turned up. She tell everybody in school, watch your man because Keisha gonna want your man like she wanted mine. I wish I hadn't told him, but I thought I was doing the best friendly gesture that I could do, you know, to tell him that his girl was with another guy. <laughs> forget. Our guests today are all here with their best friends, but there's a chance that after today they might not be best friends at all. Our first guest is this close to giving her best friend the axe. Let's hear from her. My best friend lets her boyfriend walk all over her. If she doesn't dump him today, our friendship is over. Woo! That was Wendy Brown, everybody. Hey, Wendy Brown, come on out. You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Tell us what's going on with your best friend. Well, Robin, her, her boyfriend is a freeloading dog. He uses oh, her. No. He, he uses her. He goes over to her house whenever he wants, back and forth. He drives her car. He'll even drop her car off in the middle of the night, leave her keys in it, while she watches him leave with another girl. No! So, really? Yeah. Not to, mention, not to mention he don't buy his baby diapers, don't pay child support, he don't work. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Okay, they have a baby together, right? They have a, a 17-month-old daughter. He can come and go when he wants. That, that's he wants. not a big deal. But the dropping the car off with the keys that he leaves with another girl, five or six times, she's watched him do it. She's watched him. Now, and he won't, he won't even come up to the house. He won't even come to the house till he leaves the keys in the does, car. Does your friend Heather see the girl? She watches it. So what does she... Wait, wait, wait. What does Heather do? She'll confront him, but then he'll twist it around and lie to her and she buys it. He was nice to her in the beginning, but then... They're you know, always nice in the beginning. Beginning. Yeah. In the beginning, the, they're always nice, they're always good to you in the beginning. That soon diminished, though. Um, when she had her baby, he wasn't even there. He didn't see his baby for two months after she was born. Oh, that is not the truth. You know it is. He, was, he showed up like two minutes afterwards. He was at a football game. He does play football. He was so he showed a football up two minutes game is more important than you? And for the two months, a football game he was around me you? for two months. So we moved Come right on now. That. I'm sorry, but you having a baby, I would, I would think that would come before football. Don't, don't make up excuses for him. I think that might come before a football game, too. I feel like there might be a little bit something else going on. Wendy, is he abusive to Heather at all? A little? He's, I don't know. I know they're always going at each other. But we went over to a friend's house after before, and there, was, there were guys at the house. There was nothing going on. We were just playing cards. He tracked her down, broke down the door, and pulled her on her shirt, pulled on her to come back out. I, you know, so there's not only it's a lot of emotional stress. She calls me, crying to me, what should I do, what should I do? I told you. I have but told you. you. Know what, Wendy? You know what, Wendy? You need to be there. You're supposed to be my friend. You're I am there for there. you, but you won't listen. You know what? I was there for you when all this was happening. You need to be there for me. But you I know was what? There. A Granted. friend is there Granted. until the end. You need to be there for me for a lending ear. You know what? Granted. I was there for you for through thick and thin. You were not there for me. You know what? You're ruining your life. No, you're ruining your life. No, my life is it doing life. for you crying? You just lost your job because of him. Oh. Oh. I did not lose my oh. job because you of him, Wendy. Thank you, you know what? I think, I think we should hear from Ben. Hey, Ben, come on out.
Okay. How you doing, Robin? How you doing, Ben? Okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. And What's all this game? stuff Wendy's saying, is any of it true? Not the seeing your baby for two months after the baby That's was wrong. born? That's wrong. That's totally wrong. That's totally wrong. Okay, you know, you I was talk about football. Two minutes. Okay, you were going to talk about football. How is a football game more important than her having a baby? Excuse me. Excuse me. When I was... Excuse me. She wasn't in labor. The time I had the time I was supposed to have a football game, she was not in labor. Okay? I had the football game. I had to get to the football game. That's my job. That's what I got to do. Ben, what about when you drop the car off and then you leave with another girl? Is that true? No, that's not true. Are I you have... sure? You kind of hesitated. You don't no, that's not what? true. That's not true. Sometimes, sometimes I have somebody drop me off, my homie or my friends or a girl. You know what I'm saying? Heather, come on now. You've seen it for yourself. I have not. Wendy, I've told you I've seen a car girl. drive by. Wendy, I've never told you I've seen it if it was a girl or you not. Told I told you. how a car was. It looked just like yours. I told you. You had me go to a parking lot. Wendy, and a, you had me go. Look for your car. Yes, no, because the car was You're saying Wendy's jealous? You think Wendy's jealous? Yeah. I think mm -hmm. you did because she's jealous not with her man anymore. I'm a non-working piece of girl. Raising a daughter by myself and working full time. Wendy, you know what? Living at home with mommy and dad, you know. Okay, Ben. I'm hearing about women, I'm hearing about you not being there, but you guys have a baby together. Right. I mean, right. that brings a certain seriousness to the situation. Right. Do you understand that? Oh, I understand that a lot. I understand a lot. I take care of my baby when I see my baby loves me. She knows who I am. Great daddy. You know what I'm saying? She knows who I am. But her, the way the emotional she's going through, every night not knowing where he is, he don't call her. He just comes in when he wants. She calls me crying, asking all of her friends what she should do. We told her. She don't want to listen. She's putting herself to too much. What's that doing to her daughter? Okay. Wendy, I mean, you, I mean, you seem so, you're serious. You're serious. You serious. obviously care about I've been, Honestly, I've been through it, but I didn't let it go to the point to have to watch my baby's father drive off with some other girl. No, I didn't let it go that no, far. I no, stopped the man it. of your baby just uh, went off and married another woman, got her pregnant That's two right. weeks later. So you have to we weren't together, okay, Wendy. Yo, Wendy, turn around and talk to Heather and tell her, I mean, let's calm down. Tell Heather why you brought her here today. I mean, you brought her a long way. I'm here to tell you, you know, we've been friends for a long time. Um, you know how all of our other friends feel about this. You deserve much better. You can do much better. Look at yourself. You know, you can raise a daughter by yourself. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve me. So you know, just, you, need to, you need to do better. And if, if you can't, better? I don't want to, I don't want to be the one that, I don't want to be your Kleenex anymore. You know? Mm. I don't want to be your Kleenex anymore. I'm tired of you coming to me crying. I told you what to do. What you don't, better? you know, it's on you. So if you don't dump him, we're through. All right, Heather. Well, you know, Heather, Heather, listen to me. I mean, I've, I've been watching you. We've all been watching you, and you've really been taking it in. You've been serious about what you're, what, what Wendy has said to you. I mean, you're thinking about it. So I want you to take a deep breath. Let's all take a deep breath. Let's settle down, and let's think about why she's brought you here. Right? I mean, just really think about why she's said. Because she's serious. I mean, Wendy's upset. Take some time. We're gonna all take a deep breath and settle down, and we'll be right back. Now you know if she comes to you and she tells you that your man's cheating, if you go to that man and you say, have you been cheating, you think he's going to say, yeah, baby, I've been cheating, you know he's going to lie. <laughs> you know the man's going to lie. Bingo! Darn it. I was one square away from winning that game. Uh, it's a shame Sadie isn't here today. She always wins. Could have won the big prize. You know, that could have helped her with some of Jim's funeral expenses. There wasn't any life insurance? No, there wasn't. I've been trying to convince her to call about the Colonial Pen Program to make sure they had coverage. But she was worried they wouldn't be accepted because of their health. I have life insurance with them, too. I had concerns, but I didn't have to take a physical or even answer any health questions. My acceptance was guaranteed. Well, I should get some life insurance for myself. I'm kind of on a fixed budget, though. I don't know if I can afford it. I thought the same thing. It works out to be about 35 cents a day. That's just $9.95 a month per unit of coverage. 
I think I can afford that. I'm going to give them a call. And now you can help protect your loved ones from the burden of your final expenses with a guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance policy through the Colonial Pen Program. In today's world, uncertainty seems to be the new norm. With life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program, there is no uncertainty. If you're age 50 to 85, your acceptance is guaranteed. You don't have to answer any health questions or take a medical exam. You cannot be turned down because of your health. For $9.95 a month per unit of coverage, you can take an important step toward protecting your loved ones. You can have affordable quality insurance at a rate which is guaranteed to never go up. Call about the Colonial Pen Program now and let a representative help you get started. G47. Bingo! <laughs> Take an important step toward protecting your family. Call 1-800-654-1284 for free information and a free gift. Or visit cpdirect.com. 1-800-654-1284. Call now. Attention parents of children who took the antidepressant Abilify. If your child took Abilify and now has diabetes, listen carefully. Abilify has been linked to an increased risk of diabetes in young people. If your child took Abilify and then developed diabetes, the manufacturer may be to blame. Call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. I'm attorney Bob Goldwater. If this has happened to your child, call us right now. Both you and your child may be entitled to financial compensation. Abilify may be to blame for your child's diabetes. If your child took Abilify and then developed diabetes, call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. There are time deadlines to file a claim, so call us right now. There's absolutely no risk on your part. You don't owe us anything unless we win your case. If your child took Abilify and then was diagnosed with diabetes, call the Goldwater Law Firm for a free legal consultation. Call 1-800-951-8886. That's 1-800-951-8886. I'm just sitting at the airport. I'm so bored. I wish I was home watching your show. Hey, Robin. I used to watch you on Head of the Class. Now I'm happy I can see you every day. Robin, girl, you're going to be great. Have a good time on Forget and Forget. It's no doubt, Robin. I'm going to watch you on TV every day. strong ultimatum to her best friend, Heather. Either she dumps her deadbeat boyfriend or she can kiss their friendship goodbye. Wendy, you think she's going to choose you? I have no idea. I really don't. She's, no, you know, she's got, he's got her believe in anything she says. If he says jump, she'll ask how high. So, well, if you really set it up where either she do this or that's it. And obviously you care about her. What if she's not there? Then she's not. I mean, it's going to be long, in the long term, in the long run, it's going to be her getting hurt even more. And there ain't going to be no one there to help her anymore. Right, Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Go on over. Okay, Wendy. Take a deep breath, Wendy, because I know you care about her. You ready? All right. Open the door. Okay. That's not okay. That's She's the one who ruined her life. You know what, Robin? Where's Heather at? I don't want to be by her no more. Well, where do you want to go? You going to go act go like you care her? about her? Is it over? You, you care about I her. Thought I care about her very much. She's, I mean, she's a, she's a very sweet person. But she's, all, she's hurting so much all the time. She don't know what he's doing. She just wants to keep her family together. I understand that. Anybody wants to. All right, I, but I, I, enough is enough. I want to talk to Heather. I mean, I, I really want to talk to Heather. Heather. Yes. You didn't come through the door. I mean, your friend's been pouring out her heart. She's serious. Why did you come through the door? I didn't come through the door because I'm here. I'm trying to fight for my family. She's been through it. And a friend is a friend to the end. No friend would give another friend an ultimatum. Oh, she is supposed to be there for me till the end. I was there for her. I was there for her, you know, when she went through this for four, four and a half years. I was there. I was, gave her the ear that she needed and the shoulder to cry on. I stood there by her. I gave her what she needed, you know. I listened. I didn't tell her what to do. I stood by her and told her that I would be there for her no matter what. And she's obviously not a true friend if she's going to give me an ultimatum. I am the one looking out for you. Hey, but Wendy. You need to worry about yourself, Wendy. I am, but you're the one coming to me complaining all the time. Wendy, you're the one. You know, one. I've been there for six years, the last two years, listening to you talk about him. All of our friends say the same thing. You keep going to them saying the same thing. You're not, you're not happy yourself. You just told me that. 
You just I'm call me that. I'm not happy when he's not around, no. But you then know what? You need to, you know, you're right. right. You know what? You're not the one who's in this relationship. You're not the one sleeping with this man. He is not your man. You don't know what we're going through. You don't know the man. Believe me. You do not know the real Ben. Do you think that there's something to maybe what Heather's saying? That maybe, you know, relationships are tough, right? And you can't explain that kind of love and how you feel. You can't explain when you feel that way about somebody. So okay. maybe in a way it is best that you don't get in it. Okay, Heather, I think you're being very naive. Your friend is giving you advice through her past experiences. She's trying to make sure, you know, that you don't have to go through that. I think you should really pay attention to what your friend is saying and take heed. Anybody else? Come on. Come on, stand up. Come on, stand up. You know, I, I, I think that she's going to have to find out on her own and see that for herself, mm -hmm. no matter what you tell her. Exactly. She's got to find that in her own right. time, not yours. Exactly. Heather, I want to know something. How does your family feel? I mean, you have a beautiful baby. Of you, you two have a beautiful baby. And I understand that's reason enough to hang in there and try to stick it out, make it all work. How does your family feel about it, about Ben? You know, they, they've had, you know, they have their differences and everything, but all that really matters is how I feel and what is there for us. At times, you know, yeah, they still invite them to family functions and everything, but, you know, they don't feel the greatest about him. Do they feel that maybe Ben's not the best for you? Yeah, because everybody's seen, you know, because when you have a problem, you know, you only tell the negative things, you know. Everybody always tells the negative things, and they don't ever focus on the good things. People don't know the good times, and then I have more good times than we have bad times. How often? All the time, Wendy. Oh. It's just, it's, Wendy, it has just been bad, bad in the last every few day, months. Trying to find out where he is every Wendy, day. Wendy, it, that's just been in the last few months. Okay, let, let's hear from Ben, Wendy, because obviously Heather's made her decision. Okay. Ben. Yes. Are you good to this lady? Well, Are you sure there's nothing I'm maybe sure. you could do a little bit better? We can all do well, things a little bit better. Everybody can do a little bit okay. better and stronger these days, you know. But that's how Treat I just take my day. Treat her how she needs to be treated. That's right. what you need right. to do. Like okay, here we go, here we go. I want to direct my question to, the, to my friends. Wait a minute, you guys. Settle down. We got a question over here. I want to direct it to the friend. I want to know where is your man? Exactly. I don't, I don't want to. Okay, okay. Even though where is your man? I want. I, you know what you need to do? You need to leave the young lady alone and go find, buy, or rent you a life and leave us alone. That's what you need to do. Need I don't need a man. Man. She's coming to me. Well, so you don't, don't know the story. Listen. You don't know the story. So listen. Bring your hands up and leave it alone. Do I, I am trying man. to. That's why I came here today. I'm not listen having no more. Me. Listen to me. Go find, buy, or rent you a I man. I don't need one. I don't need one. That's what you need to do. I don't need one. Because it's obvious you have. I you don't need one. She ain't happy. Heather, you happy? Yes, I am. You are not no happy. Yes, I am. No, I don't need a man. Come on. I need. I don't need a man to run me down. It's obvious you're fine by myself. I'm doing fine by myself. I'm fine by myself. You were very good. You were wonderful. Please have a seat. You, Heather, you know what I think, Wendy? I think I, I think that the young man over there has it about right. I mean, that, that's how I feel. I feel that I feel that if if you're right about Ben, and if you're right about the situation, what if she's wrong? She, wait, I'm just saying. Wait a minute. If she's right, if she's wrong, great, because you guys will go on and live life together, and it'll be good. Right. But if she's right. She's going to find out on her own, in her own time, in her own way. And if you're a friend, be there for her. When the time comes, Heather, I agree with you. When the time comes, you be there for her. And you don't say, I told you so, you just be there. I have not even said that to her. So, and she knows, I, I, like I said, I have been through it. I have not relayed any of that, what I've been through on her. But I give her, she asks me for advice. I give her advice, but she don't want to, you know, there's more than just me saying this. Mm -hmm. You know, there's... I think certain things you can't really explain, that Wendy. Maybe, you can't explain, and she is a baby by this man. I understand And that. let me tell you, you know, you can't explain that kind of bond, what that means. When you lay with somebody, you, you know, you make love to them, and you have a baby with them, they're bonded. I mean... And I, let me tell you, you, Ben, look over here now. You, you be good to her. Be good to her. She's the mother of your child. Oh, I know that. I'm going to take care of mine. I'm going to take care of her. Right, Whatever well, I got to do. All right. Whatever it takes to put bacon on the, on the table. And Heather, yeah. just know. Heather, yeah. keep your eyes open. 
I will. Keep your eyes open. I will. Don't be, don't be too naive. I mean, love does something to you. It does something to all of us, you know? But keep love your eyes blind. open. Protect yourself and protect that beautiful baby. Thank you. All right? Thank you. Whew. We got more to come. We got some more best friends battling it out. Please stay with us. You should tell me why you came here today. My best friend thought I was butting into her love life. She chose a man over our friendship. I want an apology. All right, well, I'm going to see what I can do about that today. Okay. All right? Okay. Golf War Heroism or a Political Block for Power. How could you not remember saving our union? Ben Marco is about to discover. Somebody got into our heads. Everything is under control. You don't actually believe his story. He's uh, not a well man. I want to believe you. Well then, help me or shoot. Denzel Washington leaves Schreiber, Meryl Street, and Kimberly Elise, the Manchurian candidate. Tonight, 10 Eastern, 9 Central, on the Moon Mouse TV Our Way. Freedom to everyone. If you or anyone you love needs affordable health insurance right now, regardless of a pre-existing medical condition, call Quick Insurance 123 today. We can provide you with affordable insurance options with access to doctors, hospitals, emergency services, and more. Call now. And just for calling, as a special bonus, we'll send you a free prescription savings card that could save you up to 85% on your prescription. Don't wait. Getting a free quote is as easy as 123. Call today. When you open up an Audible audiobook, it opens up your imagination. Enjoy a steamy romance while ironing the sheet. Discover an historic battle while battling the bulge at the gym. Visit audible.com slash freebook now to try one absolutely free. Get caught up in a whodunit during a do-it-yourself project. Listen anytime, anywhere with the Audible mobile app. When you're out for a walk, learn how to climb the corporate ladder. Or bring a little magic to your minivan with a fantasy novel. With over 100,000 titles, Audible is an amazing experience that you can now try absolutely free. And just like our books, there's no binding. Our great listen guarantee lets you exchange a title you don't like for another. No questions asked. Visit audible.com slash free book to download a book of your choice right now. Hey, Rob, we're from Minnesota. We just got off that plane. Minnesota. Land of 10,000 lakes. Robin, you are going to be great on Forgive or Forget. And if you ever come to Minnesota, call me. <laughs> Welcome back. Our guests today say their friendships are on the rocks all because they tried to give their friends some much-needed advice about their love lives. Listen to what our next guest has to say. I tried to warn my best friend that her man was a dog. And instead of her dumping him, she ended up dumping me. <laughs> That's Keisha Lee. Keisha, come on out. <laughs> hey, Keisha. Hi, Robin. How you doing? Fine. All right, now you know your best friend, Laquita, is backstage. We're going to talk to her in a moment. Just tell us why you feel you had to warn her about her boyfriend. Robin, girl, let me tell you, he's a scrub. We've been friends for like six, seven years. And when they started dating like seven months ago, I told her, Quit, he's no good for you. I know who he hang with. Everybody knows him, his reputation, everything. She said, okay, she was going to ask him about cheating. He told her, well, if she believes that me, then she needs to be my friend. And if she believes him, she needs to be with him. So I guess she took it upon herself to think I was lying. And she chose him over our friendship. Oh. Oh. Keisha, what's it like now between you guys? It's like, it's like a cold shoulder. We both go to beauty school. And when I see her at school, she look at me all funny, turn look. That's look because at me. you look at she me funny and turn your head. She tell everybody in school, she tell everybody in school, watch your man because Keisha gonna want your man like she wanted mine. Oh. I hey, just Queen, said, have you been saying that? Have no, I did that? not. I did not say that. I said that I felt that she was jealous of my man. And the reason she was saying all these comments that he was messing with other girls because other people were telling me that she was all in his face. But if I'm your best friend, you don't supposed to believe nobody else. I wouldn't want your man if I'm your best friend. We're supposed to be like sisters. Laquita, Laquita, are you still with this man? No, I'm not. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Wait a minute, you guys are fighting over this man. You're fighting over this what? man now, and you, not over him, but because of him. Yeah. And he's not, she's, she's not even. You're not a man or your friend. Yeah, you don't, exactly. Let me tell you something. Let me just tell you Stand something. Stand right up. Laquita, let me tell you something, sweetheart. In life, a man gonna come and go. But your friend gonna be with you to the end, baby. Believe that. Believe it. It wasn't because of the, because of the guy, because I know men come a dime a dozen. I can get a man anytime. I'm not with him now. Okay. But okay. Laquita, then, then tell us, how was she, how was Keisha coming at you in the wrong way? Tell us. How was she? The way, it, every time I would try to talk to her and listen to her about the situation and tell her about the problem, instead of her just coming to me telling me, she has to tell everybody around the schoolhouse and let everybody know our Quita, business. I came I to you as was right. Friend. I said, Quita, when I first talked to you, did I, did I not say, he is no good for you. You took it upon yourself to go ask him. Of course he's going to deny. Of course he's it's going to deny. It's not about him denying. And deny. then when he denied it, you, you started looking at me like I was lying, like you denied my trust. No, it's because of what everybody else was telling me. I'm Everybody's not, not your friend. Everybody was not there for you six yeah, years. We better than that. Now you know if she comes to you and she tells you that your man's cheating, if you go to that man and you say, have you been cheating? You think he's going to say, yeah, baby, I've been cheating? You know he's going to lie. <laughs> you know the man's going to lie. Gonna lie. <laughs> That's right. You can't get mad at Now you don't have the man. You don't have your friend. That's you're, right. You're I didn't get, mad. I didn't at get mad at her she for that. She's telling at school. I didn't get mad at her for that. I got mad because I felt that if she was my friend, that she should stand by me 100% through whatever it is I'm going through. All right. Instead of her that's going true. down the that's true. I applaud what you're telling everybody. Teacher. I just feel that I applaud what you said. That's true. I'm supposed to stand with you 100%. But if I'm your friend, I'm not going to stand there and let you get hurt. All right, that's right. Teacher. That's true. Teacher. You brought your friend a long way. You brought her all the way to New York City. Turn around and tell your friend why you brought her here. Tell her what you want. Quita, even though we had our ups and downs, I told you what I felt was right. You might look at it the wrong way or not, but that hurt me when you blocked the number out and you said um, we, um, you chose him over me. Today, I demanded an apology from you. If you choose to give me an apology, I would like to have our friendship again. But if you choose not to, then it's going to have to be over because you don't care about my feelings. All right. All right. Laquita. Keisha's no joke. She's serious. She's serious. And when we come back, we're going to see what Laquita decides to do, all right? So stick around. Stay with us. The voice communicates design. It's what makes talking so much more exciting than typing. Call Live Links now. Make a real connection. Open up real possibilities because there are more local singles waiting to talk to you live on live links now i want to hear your voice call live links now are you one of the millions of people living with bladder control problems and on Medicaid? Then stay tuned for a special free offer from Active Style. How would you like to have all your incontinent supplies delivered discreetly right to your door at no cost to you and with free shipping? You can, thanks to Active Style. Hello. At Active Style, we understand your needs and we're here to help. We offer convenient home delivery of a variety of products for bladder control and incontinence issues, and they may be available at no cost to you if you're Medicaid eligible. When you call us, a personal incontinence consultant, someone like me, will help you find the right product that is both comfortable and makes you feel secure. In fact, your comfort and satisfaction is assured by our Get It Right guarantee. Plus, your supplies can be delivered discreetly right to your door for free. And best of all, our caring and complete service costs you nothing if you're Medicaid eligible. So let us help you. Make the call and Active Style will find a product that is just right for you. If the fit is not right, we'll send different products until you are completely satisfied. That's our Get It Right guarantee. Your privacy is assured. Our incontinence products arrive direct to your door in discreet boxes, so you can forget about making those embarrassing trips to the store. Plus, Active Style will take care of any paperwork and personally follow up to check on your supplies to be sure you don't run out. If you or someone you know is incontinent, let us make life easier. Call now. And if you're Medicaid eligible, we'll also send you a free sample. You'll get great caring service, our Get It Right guarantee, and a free sample, all when you call right now. This is a special TV offer, so please call now. 
If you're on Medicaid, call now for your free sample. We'll ship your incontinent supplies discreetly to your door, so no more embarrassment at the store. Active Style is the most convenient way to get your incontinent supplies, and it costs you nothing. Have your Medicaid card ready? Call 1-866-482-1549. That's 1-866-482-1549. Everyone, Keisha Lee says she was only trying to warn her best friend Laquita about her bad news boyfriend, but she's the one who ended up getting dumped. Keisha, do you mean what you say? I mean, you're I here. mean what I say because if she don't come through the door, that means she don't take my feelings for um, granted, and I don't need to have a friend anyway. Here you go. Okay. I mean, how how important is this friendship to you? Because friends, you know, friends are hard to find, and I'm finna get ready to go out to college, go out to school, and I wanted her to be there for me. Mm -hmm. Because we might go out separate ways. Who's to say I'm gonna see her next year? Who's to say anyone's gonna be here next year? I want her as a friend, like now. Okay. But if she can't sell my feelings, then she's not a friend anyway. All right, Keisha, you ready? Let's walk on over. You nervous? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Turn to the door. Wait. 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 You guys think she's going to be there? Yeah. I don't know. All right, let's open the door. Oh, man. Keisha. Oh, oh Keisha, no. Oh, Keisha. Oh, Keisha, don't cry. Come on. No, come on now. That was... It's all right, Keisha. I mean, you guys have been friends for a long time, huh? And then some guy comes along that she knows for three months and causes all this confusion. I mean, what do you, what do you think? What do you... It hurts, doesn't it? All right, let's let's hear what, why Laquita didn't come. Laquita, why didn't you come? Well, Keisha, I didn't come through the door today because I don't feel that I owe you an apology for choosing a man over you because I didn't, but I do feel that I owe you an apology for all the heartaches and time that we have been through over this guy. I didn't feel we broke up, our friendship stopped because of him, but I felt it was more personal between me and you. You're kind of saying sorry, but you still didn't come through the door. I'm saying sorry to her, but between what happens between me and you, but I'm not saying sorry because you're saying you you demand an apology because you're saying that I chose a guy over you. But I didn't choose a guy. guy over you. you I said apology because okay, I'm demanding apology because I feel like you shut me out. That's why I feel like you shut me out. If it's not the man the guy, I still say I owe apology because you owe me apology because you shut me out. I believe the reason she didn't come through the door is because friendship has no limits. You should be there unconditionally for her. But exactly. She, yeah, okay. Okay. You know what? You you still want to be a friend, though, don't you, Lakeisha? Yeah, I do. I love Ch I love Lakeisha with all my heart. I just didn't come through the door because I didn't choose a guy over her. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Laquita, Laquita, you, you, you know, look, look, you obviously have a good friend. She brought you here, she's crying, she's pouring her heart sorry. out. You're saying you're sorry, so I'm going to give you, wait, you guys, wait a minute, just wait. So I'm going to give you another chance, all right? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, Laquita, I'm getting ready to send Tisha back to the door, who was crying. And I'm going to ask her again for the door to open, and you better be on the other side of that door and say you're sorry. You understand me, then? Go on. All right. Open up the door. I know you have. Look, we don't, look, we don't, why'd you put
put us through all that. You put us through all of that. Stand up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Holly, I'm rather confused because the man is gone. So that means your friend was right. So how could you be mad at your friend for telling the right thing from the beginning? Stand up. I know you've got something to say. Stand up and say something. All right, you were back there talking about how you love her with all your heart, and then she stood right there with an empty door. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't want I didn't want to come out because she was demanding an apology for me choosing a guy over her. I didn't choose the guy over her. We, our friendship broke up because of something that happened between me and Keisha, not because of the guy. And I blocked your number out because every time we would try to talk, all you wanted to do was argue, and I wasn't trying to argue with you. And I got tired of hearing, yeah. okay, it's not your fault. I understand that. All but right. if, you, if you're my friend, you should come to me and talk to me in a more amenable way. And I called me and this and that. I told you this and that. I told you this and that. You're supposed to comfort me because you're my friend. So therefore, I blocked your number out because all you did was call me with more mess and more mess, and I got tired of oh. hearing. Is it unblocked? Are you going to unblock it her number? It will be. <laughs> it <laughs> will be. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Please stay, friends. I wish I had a friend who would cry over me like that. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Calvin, tell me why you came here today. I came here today because I saw my best friend girl out with another man, and now he won't speak to me, and now I want to apologize. Oh, all right. Well, you came to the right place for that. All right? Put a smile on your face. I'm not satisfied with just getting by. I like to get ahead, and that's why I carry the prepaid Visa Rush Card. I get my pay deposited directly to my Rush Card, so I never pay check cashing fees ever. And I get access to my money up to two days early, which comes in handy. Plus, my prepaid Visa Rush Card makes it so easy for me to pay bills and shop online. You can use your Rush Card to get cash or check your balance at over 23,000 MoneyPass ATMs nationwide with no fees. And I can use it everywhere if Visa debit cards are accepted. Why just get by when you can get ahead? Thanks, Rush Card. Get your Rush Card right now and get up to $9.95 with activation. That's right, up to $9.95. Call 1-877-320-7736 or go to RushCard.com now and use promo code CHARGE. 1-877-320-7736. Limited time offer. Don't delay. One father. Nice to meet you. <laughs> She's friendly, I see that. That's the way you want to handle it. And I will just sit back and watch the disaster unfold. One love, an all-new original series. Premieres Tuesday, 9 Eastern, 8 Central. Only on Bounce TV. The FDA issued a public notice to doctors and patients concerning serious injuries caused by transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, and bladder sling. Please call now if you had one of these devices implanted in the last five years. You may be entitled to a cash award. If you had a transvaginal mesh, bladder mesh, pelvic sling, or bladder sling in the last five years, please call 1-888-906-5204 now. I really needed the cash now, and I was getting regular payments from an insurance company, so I called Peachtree. And I helped Matt get a lump sum of cash. Thanks, Jenny. We're Peachtree people. It's what we do. Turn your structured settlement or annuity payments into the cash you need now. Call Peachtree. I didn't want to max out my credit cards or take out a loan, so I called Peachtree. I told Monique it was her money. I just helped her get it sooner. And now I'm debt free. Thanks to Jim. We're Peachtree people. It's what we do. If you're getting regular payments, don't go into debt. Call Peachtree now to get your money. I needed money to start a business, but I didn't want to sell all my payments. I knew Peachtree could help. I got Tom a lump sum of cash, and he still had payments coming in. Thanks, Kelly. We're Peachtree people. It's what we do. If you need money, call Peachtree and turn your settlement into cash. We're, We're Peachtree Peach people. It's, it's what, what we do. do. Call now for a free quote. Call 1-800-738-3631. Robin, we are flying back home to Philadelphia. Philadelphia. We're on our way to Panama, the country. Panama! But Robin, we just wanted to say good luck with the show before we leave. I hope we get home in time to see the show. Welcome back.
our guests today are best friends, or at least they were best friends, that is, until a little friendly advice backfired. In fact, our next guest says he wished he never even opened his mouth. I told my best friend that I saw his girl with another man, but butting in was a big mistake. Uh-huh, uh-huh, all right, now that was Calvin Stevenson. Calvin, come on out. Hi, Robert. How you doing? All right. Tell us what happened between you and your best friend. Well, my friend from Atlanta, we moved to Tennessee. The relationship was going pretty good. After a while, he met this girl, and she was sort of sour at the beginning when he brought her over to the house to meet me, you know. But I never gave her the cold shoulder, but she did to me. So one day I was coming from work, and I saw her in the car with another guy. So I said to myself, what should I do? I'm his friend, you know? So I went back home and I asked him that I need to talk to him. And he was like, what you need to talk to me for? I was like, well, listen, Jeff, I saw your girl with another guy. What? You saw my girl with another guy? Man, get out of here. Get out of my house. You lying. You just want her for yourself. I don't want her. I'm fine. I'm doing good by myself, you know? I'm trying to get myself together. Okay, so you have a best friend. You went and you saw your best friend's girlfriend with another guy. That's right? right. I just want to get this right. Now, were they doing anything? Was she there and, you know, compromising? No, really, they wasn't doing anything. They were just sitting in the car. But it's just the fact that she was sitting in the car with someone else. All right, now, you didn't see anything I mean, going on. She was just sitting in the car. No, nothing transpired. But what I'm saying is, you know, I thought it was wrong for her to be in a car with someone else out in the open when she could have been in the car with him. But wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, wait, 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 wait. Now, Calvin, you had me for a minute there, but she was just sitting in the car. They were just well, sitting, in the sitting in the car. They was like sitting closely together. But I don't know what they were doing, you wait, know, but wait, I was wait. like... Cal, wait, now, am, am I the only one that thinks maybe that there's nothing wrong with that? Well, there, is something, there is something wrong with that because, I mean, she was supposed to be out in the open with someone else. You went to Jeffrey and you told Jeffrey what you'd seen. That's right. And maybe it's just a feeling. I mean, you can feel when something's going on. So maybe you were I right. I had just, that feeling. You had that feeling. And those feelings are usually right. So I right. investigated. And I went inside the store and I asked the clerk. I was like, well, do you know this guy that she was sitting in the car with? And he told me who he was. Who? They're, they're saying who was, was he? somebody that I didn't know, but I know that my friend didn't know him. When you told him what you'd seen, what did he say? He just got mad and told me to get out. He told you to get out. He told me to get out. And he kicked you out of his house? He thought I wanted the girl for myself. Like I said, I don't want her. Yeah, I think you know you what do. I'm saying? Wait, 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 I, wait, wait, I don't wait. want her. You didn't have enough information, first of all. They were just sitting in there, and you didn't know him, so you just going to him? But that's not the him? fact. What I'm saying is, I saw her out in the open with another guy. Calvin! You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. Come on, wait. Whatever. Okay, Calvin. Do you only have male friends? So what now? Don't you have any female friends? Yes, I have a female friend, but that's so, beside the point. I'm talking about this girl that was in the car. That's beside the point. You could be sitting in a car with your female friend, and nothing is, you know, nothing transpired. Yeah, but you they were sitting closely together. You didn't see them hugging. I'm a man. I know. You know what I'm saying? I know that she was sitting too close to him. Okay, Calvin. Okay, whatever happened... Jeffrey ended up throwing you out of his house, right? He ended up throwing so, me out the house. And he was mad. So this is serious. He was you guys, serious. You guys were good friends. Yeah, we had been friends for three years. And now you're not talking. Now we haven't spoken six months. And you wish you hadn't told him, right? I wish I hadn't told him, but I thought I was doing the best friendly gesture that I could do, you know, to tell him that his girl was with another guy. All right. All right but no he way. didn't want to believe anything that I said. Okay. Why should I tell him a lie? I'm his best friend. You know, I'm going to be there with him. Okay. Too thick and thin, All you know? Right. Okay. I'm not going to try to say anything bad to him. Okay. All right. Calvin. Now, you came here. You wanted to apologize to your friend Jeffrey, right? And you put your apology on tape. So let's, yeah. let's see what you had to say. All right? Yeah. Jeff, I brought you here today to tell you that I'm sorry for butting into your love affair. You know, I thought I was doing the right thing, but at the time, I guess it seemed like that I wasn't. But I hope that you can forgive me and let's start this thing back over. We haven't spoken six months and it's about to kill me. And I hope that you can forgive me and let's start this thing back over and be friends like we used to be. Jeffrey, I was trying to read his face, you know, see what he was thinking. I, I don't know. Just, 
sit there and we're going to come back and we're going to see, we'll be back in a few moments and let's see if Jeffrey can accept his friend's apology, all right? We'll be right back. But seriously, I know we need it. But finding life insurance, it's easier than you think. We just got term insurance. I'm just not exactly sure how much to get. Just enough to pay some bills, loans, funeral costs. Everyday expenses. Like? 50000 is what we have. Where'd you find it? AARP Term Life from New York Life Insurance Company. That's what I have. It's affordable. Is it easy to apply? Yeah. I called up, got an application, and I just had to fill it out and mail it back. You applied by mail? That's right. Took about five minutes to complete. There's really nothing to it. Many Americans put off getting life insurance, but there's no reason to. If you're between the ages of 50 and 74, you can apply for up to $100,000 in term life insurance with no physical exam, no medical test. Your acceptance is based on your health information. Call now or visit the website on your screen for free information and a rate quote. If you like what you see, it's easy to apply. Just complete a short application, check a few boxes, sign your name, and send it back. That's easy enough. Uh-huh. Sounds like something I could use. Aren't you insured at work? I am, but I need a little more. Whether you're looking to supplement an existing plan or buying life insurance for the first time, consider AARP Level Benefit Term Life from New York Life Insurance Company. Call or go online today to find out more. Not an AARP member? No problem. We'll tell you how to join. For free information by mail, plus a rate quote, visit NewYorkLifeAARP.com or call New York Life at 1-800-582-9898. That's 1-800-582-9898. Respond today and get a free gift. 1-800-582-9898. Certificate benefits and limitations should be carefully examined prior to purchase. Have a structured settlement or annuity from a settled lawsuit? Do you need your money now instead of waiting for payments over time from an insurance company? Find out how to turn those future payments into a lump sum of money by calling CBC Settlement Funding today. We'll walk you through the process and give you cash options over the phone. Why wait years to get your money? Get cash now to buy a house, start a business, or pay your bills. Whether you want to sell all or just a portion of your settlement, CBC Settlement Funding can help. We have years of experience helping people like you get cash from their structured settlement. To learn more about getting your money now, call us at 1-800-951-6211 for a free no-obligation offer. Again, that's 1-800-951-6211. The antipsychotic drug Risperdal has been associated with gynecomastia, a condition which causes males to grow breast tissue. If you are a male who took Risperdal as a minor, or you have a son who took Risperdal as a minor and developed breasts, call the Rely On Group right now. You may be entitled to a significant cash award. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. Call the Rely On Group at 800-953-3943. just apologized to his former best friend, Jeffrey Cape, for poking his nose in his relationship. Will he get a second chance at being Calvin's friend? No, no, no. Well, guys, just wait a minute now. Let's see. All right. Oh, get mad, Calvin. Let's go to the door. Maybe he's there. You think he's going to be there? I hope so. I know you hope so. Come on. Go on. I hope so, too, Calvin, all right? Because obviously this means a lot to you. I know it does. Okay, you ready, Calvin? Yes. Okay, let's open the door. <laughs> Calvin, you, you feel better now? You were getting all mad at us. He's at the door. You feel better? Yeah. You feel happier? Yeah. Thought he wasn't going to be there, huh? You know, friends come a dime a dozen. Right. And this is my friend. We've been through hard times together. And it's been six months since you spoke. Six months. Jeffrey? This is my friend, and I love him, but I want you to stop 
and stay out of my business because what you did was wrong. Because you didn't have no proof whatsoever. But I thought whatsoever. I was doing the right thing. Anybody by telling have you, anything you know what I'm saying? Don't tell me nothing. Let me find out on my own. Any but if you had found out on your own right, and then you knew that I knew, you'd have been mad at me for not telling you. All right. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Okay, here. What's his name? That's that's Calvin in the yellow shirt, and that's Jeffrey. Jeffrey, is you still with the girl? Yeah. I have a male friend, and I go everywhere with him in his car, and I have a husband. We are best friends, and nothing happened. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Here. Here's a guy. Come hey, on. You, you said that's your best friend, right? Yeah. Right. So... So, if he didn't look out for you, and the, the, your girl did go with another guy, then you'd be mad because she didn't say nothing. No, no. That's right. That's I right. Would, that's right. Yeah. That's right. I would want to find. That's right. I, I did the right thing. I did the right thing. I did the right thing. I, was, I had his back. I would I want to find back. out on my own. Don't bring, don't tell me something that's going to hurt me. Let me find out on my own. But, Jeffrey, you know, he was trying to help. He yeah, is I told you something that was going to help you, and you threw me out your house. You knew I didn't have anywhere to stay. You knew I didn't know anything anybody in Cleveland, but you told me to get out of your house. But, but see, this is the, the thing about that is because you and Saquana had was having problems. Saquana didn't like me from the get-go. When she came up to the house, she gave me the cold shoulder. I tried to shake her hand. She brushed me off. Where is Shaquana? Shaquana's not here. She not come. All right. All right. Stand on up. All three of you going to stand yeah. up? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, don't start singing or anything. Okay? No, no, no. We just we all think that you want him for you. Yeah. You want him really to the picture yeah. for you. Yes. Yes. No, it's not like that. We just good yeah. friends. That's Whatever. it. Whatever. All three of y'all together. So what's up? that what's the yellow shirt Calvin Calvin might have acted a little prematurely because he wasn't totally wow. sure and it might have stemmed from you being afraid to lose your friend from the woman exactly because he's been there for me maybe I did you know what I'm saying that's true that's true too you know yeah that's true I appreciate that okay. appreciate that yeah appreciate that Calvin you told about his girlfriend because she gave you the cold shoulder from the beginning no, it wasn't like that. I mean, when he brought her over to the house to introduce me to her, it was oh. like she didn't want to have anything to do with me, you know? But she didn't want, she didn't want to have anything to do with you. That's, you, didn't, you didn't tell because she didn't, have, she didn't want to have anything to do with you. You told because you didn't like her from the beginning, right? So, so, no, that's not the point. So did you, I, I didn't know did anything you, about did her. Did you judge that woman before? Did you do this out of spot? Now, wait, now, now, wait, now. Now, I was hard to get, wait, wait, wait. I was hard to get this show. I just want to know one more thing. You can't just take my mic now. I just want to know one more thing. Okay, then you're going to be nice. Don't grab it. Okay. All right. <laughs> go on, go on. Wait, you just judged that woman before you got a chance to know her. No, that's not, no, that's not what happened, okay? I saw her, she was doing something that was not right. He was at the house, and she was in the car with another guy. If she was going to be somewhere, she should have been in the car with him. Calvin, you didn't do this out of spite, right? You didn't no. do this because you were mad at no. the girl. No, when she came to the house, she gave me the cold shoulder. Mm -hmm. Anybody that he brought to his house, and that's my friend, I, know, I wanted her to be my friend, too. Okay, Calvin, but let me tell you something. Relationships are hard. Relationships between a man and a woman, it's hard. She gives you the cold shoulder. This still has to be Jeffrey's business with his woman. Is that what you feel, Jeffrey? That's right. That's you're right. saying, let this be my business. Right, right. I understand what you're saying, but see, in the, I was looking out for him. That's all I was doing was just looking out for him. That right. was it. All right, well, look, I, I, I really hope you got, obviously, Jeffrey, Calvin cares. He brought you yeah. here. Yeah. It was hard for him. He felt like he made a mistake. I think he felt he did the right thing. Calvin's happy. I'm very happy. There's a smile on his face. I'm very happy. Yeah, I am, too. And we're going to go, but we'll be right back. Please stay with us. Got 4G, it's included with your optimum online service and can help you save on data charges. With